Hi folks, we are here for our land management segment with American Forest Management. We are here with Mr. Fred. Fred, we're talking about clear cuts today. And obviously, the world blew up behind us back here somehow. So, <laughs> talk to us about clear cuts. This is a clear cut harvest. There's several reasons why we administer clear cut harvests. First reason is that they provide the most revenue for a landowner. So they're very attractive for that reason. But also a clear cut harvest is administered from a forestry standpoint because the trees that grow into merchantable products in our region, in our area, that are manufactured into lumber, et cetera, pulpwood, are, uh, are require full sunlight to grow. So uh, it makes sense to remove all of the previous crop and all the shade to enable the next generation, whether it's artificially established by planting or by uh, natural regeneration, to have full sunlight so it can uh, grow to its fullest potential. Uh, there are also uh, uh, ecological reasons for clear cutting. It mimics uh, disturbances that occurred in the forest throughout history in the forest. Um, the uh, Disney view of uh, virgin forests with trees this big for hundreds of miles is a misperception. Uh, forests were typically disturbed throughout history by uh, fires, wildfires. The disturbances uh, also included hurricanes. We mimic these natural disturbances, but we administer the, the disturbance in a controlled way. We work for a landowner, and if the landowner decides he or she wants to employ a clear-cut harvest, then we will find the boundaries. We'll have an area where this disturbance will be contained. We'll manage it. Then we'll uh, identify water courses. We'll leave buffers around them in, in conformance with South Carolina best management practices to protect water quality. And these buffers will exclude uh, harvest or they'll have a minimal timber harvest in them. That will prevent sedimentation into uh, the water courses. And what we're doing is protecting the waters of South Carolina while we're administering these disturbances that are systematic uh, employed by foresters. Then we create a map and the map will identify the, the water courses, the SMZs, the boundaries, also roads. They'll help the logger to identify where he might need to cross an SMZ. We have very good loggers in this area. They know how to uh, cross a water course and then stabilize the crossing and open it back up so we minimize the impact on water quality. And that's our objective. I'll tell you what, Fred, that's, that's actually very educational. I didn't realize so much planning and work went involved just to have a, a clear cut. I mean, there, there's a lot of work that goes involved prior to the first chainsaw getting cranked up. Yes, sir. We'll uh, sample what materials and products we have on the site, and then we'll uh, be able to appraise the timber value. Once we have a timber value, we go back to our landowner and we say, this is what we have for a timber sale, here's the map, and we estimate its value at this much. Then we propose selling by lump sum bid sale. In, order, in other words, we try to create competition for that sale so that that landowner can get the best value that's for his awesome. timber. Yeah, that's awesome. And yeah. that's what some of the benefits, folks, of having American Forest Management as your company to look after your land uh, to give you the best benefit of the property. Right. You, you may only harvest your timber once in your lifetime or maybe twice. Right. So we want to maximize the value for it Absolutely. and help you do that. That's fantastic. That's right. Fred, thank you for showing us this. You're welcome. Enjoy it. Right back, guys.